Good morning. I feel like I'm in the wacky races at the moment. I was at the 9am mass at Sacred Heart, drove across here and I've been trying to set up ever since I arrived and I'm still not finished setting up. But it's good to be with you. Some of you will know me. Many years ago, my team and I did a concert in this very church, I think. Maybe one or two of you were at that. The name is Joe Boyce, as Father said already. And um, I want to just share with you a little bit about how today's scripture resonates with me. A verse in particular, in fact, from our second reading. The words are, God, here I am. I am coming to obey your will. Familiar text that echoes through many of our readings, especially on our Marian feast days. When I was about 12 or 13, I joined my parish youth choir. Our priest, our parish priest, Father Christopher, had suggested to those of us who were about to embark on the confirmation program that it would be good to become more actively involved in something in the parish, to pick one of the ministries. There were lots to choose from, Legion of Mary, St. Vincent de Paul, youth group, uh, there was all sorts. I decided I fancied the look of the youth choir that sang at the morning mass. And when I mentioned this to my mum, she looked at me curiously and said, can you sing? I was about 12 or 13 and there was no evidence yet that I could sing or do anything at all musical. And it turned out, having joined the choir, that I couldn't, couldn't sing. I mean, I was kind of in tune, but I didn't have a very powerful voice and it would crack and croak very inconveniently at the worst possible time. And I was the kind of choir member that you'd position strategically as far away from the microphones as possible. You know the sort. I didn't know then that saying yes to that, to that strange nudge, that little call to that ministry of music and song would become my life's mission and ministry. It's amazing what God can do with a simple yes. There's lots of significance in that for me with this phrase, God, here I am, I come to do your will. It reminds me that the yes often has to come before the promise fulfilled. And we see that echoed in our gospel today. Mary has just been given the news at the Annunciation that she's to become the mother of the Son of God. I don't know about you, but if I just had that news, what I would want to do is lie down for a long time in a darkened room and gather my thoughts. But Mary sets out, as we hear in the gospel, as quickly as possible to visit Elizabeth, to share her joy. And I think Elizabeth hits the nail on the head when she says to Mary, blessed is she who believed that the promise made to her would be fulfilled, who believed that God's promise would be fulfilled. Mary surrendered everything because she believed. And I think sometimes we're afraid to surrender because we don't always believe the promise. We're not sure it'll come to pass. But that's the way this works. We say yes first and then the miracle happens. Not as a reward for our yes, I don't think, but just because that's the way it works, it's a kind of natural, spiritual law. God moves in response to our faith. And there are many things that we can say yes to in the life of the church. There are many calls on all of our lives. Obviously, I have a bias towards the call to music ministry because I've come to believe that the ministry of music and song is a powerful catalyst in the life of the church, in our life and journey 
of faith and in our act of worship together. God uses it to soften hearts so that he can sow his seed that can grow and bear fruit in our lives. There's a really well-known carol that you've probably already sung once or twice over these past few weeks and that you'll probably sing in the days to come. The last verse goes, What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would give a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can, I give him, give my heart. In these days of giving and receiving gifts, the Lord will invite us once more to give, to give our yes, to echo the words, God, here I am. I come to do your will.